Welcome back, JDM fam. Thank you guys for watching. We have some confirmed information about the new 2026 Honda Prelude, and it's really exciting to see the Prelude come back to life. It was a sporty little two-door coupe back in the day. It is going to be sporty, but it's not going to be the fastest car, at least when released, but hopefully we get a Type R variant in the near future. So we know that the Prelude is based on the same platform as the new Civic, which could be a good thing. If Honda did want to, they could probably make a Type R variant and then just throw the K20C1 in there and it would be an amazing car. It would be really sporty, obviously very capable, and it would obviously be really quick as well in a two-door coupe. That would be great. But sadly, at its release, we know the new Prelude is going to be a hybrid. Obviously, things can change after it is released, but we know that this Prelude is going to be released with a two-motor hybrid system, at least in the beginning. And the system will consist of five major parts, an electric generator motor, an electric propulsion motor, an Atkinson cycle gasoline engine, intelligent power unit, and a power control unit. We're not sure which engine the new Prelude will be equipped with, but it's probably going to be an engine that is currently available in the Honda Accord or the hybrid Civic that is available right now. There are no confirmed power output numbers for the new Prelude, but it would make sense if it was just a little bit faster than the regular Civic. Obviously, it's a sporty car, so it would be a big letdown if it was really slow. With all of this information, which is already sad enough as it is, we're probably not going to see a manual transmission. At least people are saying that with this two motor system, there probably won't be a manual transmission at least offered for this hybrid setup. Now, obviously that doesn't mean that for sure in the future, we won't see a manual transmission offered in an all gas powered option, or obviously in the type R variant, because obviously type R's are only offered with a manual transmission. Since this car is based off of the platform of the new Civic, it should be a front wheel drive vehicle. Also, it is going to be a four seater, two door sports car. And we'll hopefully be able to see the release of this car by the end of this year or sometime next year. Honda did not confirm that we would see this new Prelude in the US, but they did say that it would fit our market perfectly. So there's a really good chance that we could see it here and that would be great. We've seen lots of really cool spy shots of this car in camouflage driving around in the UK. It is really cool to see this and also it doesn't look like it's too much different from the actual unveiling of this car. So really it doesn't look like they've changed too much. I'm sure some things have changed but for the most part this design does look like it is going to be released into production which is really cool because this is a futuristic really sporty design. Yes, it does kind of have the new Prius, the new Z, and a little bit of Porsche thrown in there, but really there's not much that is original nowadays. There is just so many different designs out there. I really do like that it is sporty and it does look futuristic. I just really hope that we see this in a Type R variant or some sort of full gas powered option. It would be really cool to see this on the track just see it hitting corners and to see these modded on the streets in the US would be amazing. So let me know what you guys think about this new Prelude. Let me know what you guys think about all of the information we know so far. Obviously, some of this information, actually most of it, isn't really that good for the enthusiasts. We want full gas powered vehicles. Obviously, hybrid is better than full electric, but I could see Honda bringing out some really cool stuff in the future. I remember when the Integra came out, everyone wanted to see a Type S or Type R, and Honda would not say anything about it. We ended up getting the Type S, and it's a really cool car. So I have really high hopes for this Prelude, and I'm excited to see what Honda does with it in the future. The new Prelude is supposed to start at 31,000 and go up to 38,000 depending on options. So stay tuned for more information on the channel.